these are yellow irises. I cut them all the way down to the ground and it got bulbs on it and it bloomed again. And this side did too. My purple flowers, I cut them down to the ground. They're all coming back. Another iris. Can't remember what it is. Um, Amaryllis, I put in the ground. Some more irises. Those are yellow. This. It bloomed again after I cut it down to the ground. I cut all this down to the ground. This is my Native American rose bush. <coughs> a plantation lily. And done frost at once. It got bit. I cut all this down. And it just come right back. This is my trumpet vine. one of the pods. Another one of the irises that mom sent up here. We cut all them irises down on the ground and see them come right back up. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna have a couple of days. I know. I don't know why. Those tomatoes look great. Trumpet vine. They look great, but they just won't. Right? I think it's something in the ground. Spider plant in the ground. My tomato plant. It is still hanging full of green tomatoes. There's a funny shaped one. And it's got blooms on it where it's trying to grow more tomatoes. See, it's painful. And I, it's done frosted once. And I've done, made some fried green tomatoes out of it. Look at that. That's a egg that's cracked in it. The thing, I pitched it out the door the other day. And it came over here and hit this subflower and landed between the two things and stuck. Right here, say it on film. Uh-huh. Say it on film. That's an egg that was cracked in the dozen of eggs I opened the other day and I pitched it out the back door and it come flying over here and went between that branch and stuck right there. And the reason why we pitched it out the door is for fertilizer for the flowers. That's what we do with all our eggshells and our coffee grounds, tea grounds, onion peels. And yes, I pitched the make And another amarillo. And a shred of paper. So, we can say goodbye to all these flowers tonight. Because we're going to have our heavy frost. Look at how pretty those clouds are. What they call a vanilla sky. Oh yeah, and today is October 7th of 2012. Big old cottonwood tree in the way. I'm going to have to turn this video off and get some pictures of these clouds. These are just too pretty.